Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to the final episode of Minecraft War Season 3. That's right, everyone. Your eyes and ears do not deceive you. This is not a prank. This is not a joke. The title, the thumbnail, and the... Well, my words right now are not false. There is a foolhardy reason as to why the series is ending, but like I said before, we're going to have a lot of updates in this video while we're going and doing our final task on the war server. So guys, I guess I should go on about first the things that have happened off camera. So off camera, we got a chicken. He's here now laying eggs. Uh, I was really hoping that was going to be a, a thing there. In our OP chest, we have got a ton of cool overpowered books. We've got some cool armor, diamond chest plate. We haven't even gotten to use it, which I'm actually going to use for today just because I was going to use a uh, iron chest plate, but I, now that I think about it, yeah, let's just use diamond since we're uh, ending it off. Why not just have what we... My cat just knocked over a basket of laundry. You know what? She can just do that right now. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to go to the nether. And we're going to do what we've been trying to do the past three or two episodes, I should say. Is getting wither skeleton skulls. If we can manage to get all three, then we're going to spawn the wither. And he's going to wreak havoc on my behalf. So, yeah. That's going to be a thing. But also... Don't worry about the series ending. It's been going on for a long time. I have no idea what episode number this is, but I think we're, this is, if this is episode 25 right on the dot, I'm going to be happy that we hit it on kind of a milestone marker for the series. But, um, again, just keep in mind, the series was never supposed to go on longer than 20 episodes. It even says in the rules that the series is not supposed to be longer than 20 episodes. But as for the rules, again, well, first things first, I should say, do not worry, season four is coming. Season 4 of Minecraft War, wow that rhymes, will be up most likely within the next few weeks. And the reason why I say few weeks is because, as if you all do not know or are unaware, um, the college season or college life for me is starting back up again. Basically, um, I go back to college next Sunday. And, or this Sunday, I should say, at this point. Yeah, this Sunday I go back to college. And then start class on Monday, so we'll be back to the college life. Which means all videos at that point onward will be pre-recorded. And I will, as I always do, announce whenever the pre-records start. Just so you guys know, they even though they'll be uploading every day, um, they won't be real-time records. So it's not going to be like that day I'll be recording that video. It'll be like the previous weekend I record that video. Because I record on the weekend for college. So it, it'll be kind of like how it was before. But, um, what does that mean for everyone? Do not worry, all the series will still be the same that are out currently. I'm going to try to make sure I still am able to do... Because, like, uh, as you guys do know, there's five main series on my channel. Well, I think there's only four now because Pixelmon died. So, that will not be hard for me to do at all. I'm going to try to make it still two videos a day. Um, if I can't do two videos a day, then it will be every other day two videos. I'm going to have to see because, of course, for sure, there will be a video out every day. Um, I am literally prioritizing that, but if there, for any reason, there can't be two videos a day, then I'll definitely let you guys know, like, what that schedule is, uh, closer to that time period, because right now we still have a week of me being home, so I'm still able to record normally, so everything I'm telling you right now, just keep in mind that's going to take effect next week, and again, I will let you guys know whenever it actually hits that point. But enough about that, right now let's talk about this season finale. So, you're probably thinking, well, this is a daily series, well, practically a daily series, Yes, that is 100% correct. So, what I'm mo most likely do for Season 4 is... You know how we have that requirement, that 10 death requirement that wasn't met on this one? Um, I'm going to set the requirement so ridiculously high that it will take all the way... Mark my words, it will take all the way up until most likely uh, December-ish for it to be met. And also, to keep people on for that long and people doing things on here... I'm also going to, um, hmm, if we're going to do, okay, and the reason why I say if, you'll know in a minute, but if we're going to do modded still, we're going to only have one mod installed, so there's absolutely no issue with people not having, uh, not being able to get certain mods installed, etc, etc, so we'll see about that, but right now, let me just say, while, while we're doing this episode, if you guys want to comment down below, any suggestions for season four of Minecraft War, any suggestions like what kind of world we should use, what we should do for it, if we should do modded or vanilla, um, if we're doing modded, what modded should be, anything like that. And 
In terms of what mod it should be, um, I already have a very good mod in mind. If not that one, I have a second mod in mind. So don't really worry too much about the mods, but I will read your suggestions either way. Because uh, just keep in mind, regardless if you're doing vanilla or modded, this will take place in 1.12. That's right, guys. The next series will be 1.12. So just get hyped for that. Also, um... Uh, I lost my train of thought. I know what I was going to say. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be, guys. I mean, it might be longer than usual. It might be shorter than usual. But uh, right now, let's just head to spawn. Let's head to... Well, you know I'm messed up if I'm literally typing slash spawn. Um, that's another thing. If we did something... Like... Oh, by the way, I did this in case you guys are wondering. I got bored while I was fishing, so I did that. Um, if any of you guys are wondering... Oh, it's raining. Even the server's sad that it's ending. And this server will remain up for you guys to play on who still play on here. Um until like i start working on the next server which of course then i will uh, block the server so no one will be able to join but um until then the server's completely open for you guys still to join do whatever you want to on it i don't care either way um but yeah as is to uh who won i will definitely announce that at the end it i mean you guys can just read to tell who won but um i will definitely announce why that person won etc at the end so just just keep that in mind. Uh, we will announce the winner at the end. Also, that's interesting that that's broken. That means someone was here recently. I didn't... I meant to check online before I go, went to the nether, like, if anyone new had been here. Um, her, or anyone new got on or anything, so... Definitely my be that I didn't, uh... I forgot to do that. Um... But yeah, in terms of the series in general, it was a really fun one. I personally think I liked Season 2 better, just because we constantly had interaction. My man Shades Race was there every time. I know he uh, had computer issues, that's why he could not participate in this one, and I'm so upset about that, because he was one of our... Well, actually, he was our best person. Um, He, he gave us very good content. He also even started his own kind of... Uh, channel and recording on here as well on there and here as well so it was pretty cool um i don't entirely know if he's gonna be in season four because again computer issues um shades if you're watching this if you'd like to comment and say like either or you don't have to if you don't want to i don't care but um i'm just curious like if you're going to be able to participate in season four or not i would like to know um anyone else also speak now or forever hold your peace in the comments if you're going to participate in the next season or not if you plan on it if you're going to either way also keep in mind we have a smite for mending sword so this sword will never break while i'm killing all these mobs today um but yeah if any of you in advance are like i won't be able to play unless this condition is met also say that down below because i'd like to have next season actually have a lot of people because the the issue that we've had in every season so far has seen that um we weren't able to reach our max amount of people because of one particular reason every time. And that particular reason we have tried to account for every time. Because, like, for example, in this one, people were still not able to join because of a few issues. One, they said the one mod was lagging them. It caused them too much lag, so they were not able to play on here. Um, I don't exactly know if they just tried joining and there was too much lag. That's why they couldn't or whatever. Because uh, we have about 13 people on here. at a t Not at a time, but like we had 13 people joined successfully. And by that I mean they plopped into spawn. I have no idea how long they were on for. I just know they were successfully able to join and they played for as long as they did. Or if it was too laggy, they probably immediately got off. So things like that were an issue. Because yes, I'm aware a jungle biome is very um, laggy on the computers. Even my computer, whenever we were testing worlds for this, and we were choosing uh, the jungles, um, even my computer had some issue um, when we were testing some of the worlds, and that's why we had to choose this island type world, because there wasn't that much jungle. We were originally going to do just a straight jungle, like the whole thing would be jungle, but that was just too much computer strain on even my computer, and I've got a pretty good computer, so I was like, yeah, if my computer's having some issue, we're not gonna, no one's going to be able to do this. So... Again, that's number one priority. You want to have a lot of people be able to join these uh, war servers because it's an SMP. We want people to be on here participating, and of course the uh, the kill rule, as it is called, will be a thing still. Do not worry. Um, I'm trying to focus right now because this this skeleton's actually causing me anxiety right now. Come on, jeez, die. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? 
I'm also trying not to die right now because I really want to try to get a wither head. Or all three wither heads. I wish I would have been able to put looting on here, but I couldn't. Um, so yeah, again, any requirements that you guys would have for being able to join, like, be like, I won't be able to join unless this X, Y, and Z is met. Because I, again, do want to have as many people on here as I possibly can have. And again, yeah, 13 people on here, that was our max. On season 1, we had a max of 9 people on at once. Season 2, we had a max of, I think it was only like 4 or 5, unfortunately. So, that that was pretty low, but that was because I think people just didn't like the world. And the mods that we chose, people were not too much of a fan of, so... We are still trying to uh, appease the fans when it comes to the mod suggestions and stuff, even though, again, for Season 3, I'm very much confident in the mods that I've chosen or have selected to be chosen. I'm not going to tell you what those things are because I don't want to, I don't want to uh, give away anything, but just know they're mods that are only out currently for 1.12. The ones that I have in mind. Of course, we will do extensive testing to make sure everything works out perfectly before we start. Because normally what we do is, uh, I and a few of my friends, or if any can, I know, uh, Matterworld is always happy to help out if he can, if he's not busy. Um, we do is we just open the server, we get on, fly around, load in chunks, see if there's any crash issues or anything. And of course, even this server crash when we load in stuff. Check to make sure everything seems to be working alright, the mods have no issue. Um... And currently in the version we're in right, like the mods we chose for this season, the, the Modern Warfare mod had no issue other than grenades would blow up in your face because that was like a server side thing. Other than that, everything worked out perfectly. The only other it, issue was when we installed the Cannibalism mod, it had that hunger effect thing take place. And that was that was a config set in the mod. Like I could, I changed that to make it not a thing, but like it gave you infinite hunger and not a lot of people would enjoy that really. And I'm going to actually take a pit stop back to spawn and get some of my uh, food before we continue this journey. But, uh, because I'm down to three fish and that's not no bueno if we're going to be fighting a lot of mobs. But yeah, um, so what did, uh, what was I going, where was I going with this? So yeah, since the Campbellism mod gave that effect of infinite hunger and such, uh, not many people enjoyed them, they kept dying because of it. And, uh, because of that, a few people just were not able to play on the server. And I do apologize for that, because I really did not expect something like that to even happen. And by the time I became aware of me, like, one or two people already stopped playing, because they were like, yeah, I'm not dealing with this hunger issue. Um, but yes, yeah, so that was an issue, so... Of course, we're gonna check to make sure if there's any config sets that we need to worry about. But again, I think that was just that mod that would have something like that. Um, what else was a thing that happened that made people join or not join? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of all the things that people are saying why they couldn't. Oh yeah, not knowing how to install the mods properly. Um, just saying, guys, mods have been out for Minecraft for a long period of time at this point, and I understand people not knowing how to install mods, like, that's completely understandable, but, like, there, there's, like, including myself, there is multiple tutorial videos on Minecraft channels explaining how to do stuff like that. It, it's a very simple concept, there's no, like, challenge to it, you just have to install as I always say, you just have to install Forge, run it on your Minecraft, switch your version to Forge. It's like, I guess, 1.11.2 Forge version. You switch to that, run it. Um, Minecraft loads up. It says four mods already installed because Forge has four mods within its build. Um, you know you're good. You exit out. You then take whatever mods you need, throw them in the mods folder. That does it. That recreates itself when you install Forge. So there's no, there should be no mods folder in your .minecraft. That's only there once you install Forge. And if you do that correctly, there will be a mods folder there. Then you put the mods you get in the mods folder, and then you're done. Um, it is really quick to do. And again, I do have uh, videos on my channel even explaining how to do it. Or if my videos don't help you too much, um, just literally Google search how to install um, mods for this version of Minecraft, and I'm sure there's some video out there that's easily going to be able to help you with that problem. Um... Because it really is not a problem anymore. It used to be back in the day, but now it's so easy. Like, the only issue that you should have with mods is if they lag your computer. Getting them installed should not be the issue. 
Um, but again, yeah. So, and again, if anyone does have any questions that, like, I have not answered, feel free to ask them in the comments. Ask, like, hey, this is happening. How can I fix this? And I'll be more than happy to, uh, explain or at least attempt to help you guys out, uh, figuring out what the issues are. Because I, again, I do want people to be able to play this. I want people to be able to enjoy mods. Because I personally do love vanilla Minecraft. I played it for years before I started playing with mods. Even so, I should even say, um, I personally hated mods whenever I first started playing Minecraft. I tried it once. I didn't have any issues getting them to work. I just lit, I just hated them for some reason. I don't exactly know why, but then I fell in love with them after a few years of playing vanilla Minecraft. Not that I got bored of it, it's just like, I saw the potential of what mods can do in Minecraft. Um, also, not to mention, like, again, vanilla Minecraft is a good option. Like, I would, like... I'm more than happy with doing a vanilla Minecraft war season for four. If for season four, if uh, everyone is happy with that, just so we have the more amount of people joining and stuff. But don't expect it to be like a regular server. It's still going to be like the war servers you see now, where everyone's supposed to be killing one another. And again, I should say right now, um, it's going to be kind of like how this one was structured. With you need to get kills to win. It's not going to be a death. It's just like we're going to have a death counter, but the death counter is not going to mean anything. Just so you guys know, right now, that's what. It's going to be the thing. We're not going to have a death thing matter. Um, it has been brought to my attention before in the past that uh, if we were going to do a death counter, um, somebody said if a person reaches any deaths, then you can like ban them or something. Or kit, or like make it so they can no longer join. That way they are eliminated from the war. And finally we got a magma frame. It's only taken until the end of the series to get one. And I got lit on fire. Um... But yeah, people are saying, why not have something like that set in place where, like, when a person loses, they get eliminated. I personally am not okay with that because we do not have that many people to do that. If we had, like, 100-plus people joining, then yes, of course I'd make a rule like that because then it could thin out the hurt quite a bit. But since we only have about max 5-ish people on at once, at once, mind you, at once, uh, there's really no point in doing something like that. That's just my opinion. But, again, it looks like we are not going to, sadly, get the Wither built, unfortunately. And I'm not going to just cheat one in, because I want people to be able to uh, enjoy the serve for what it is until I set up the new one. So, I'm going to log off right here in case off camera I want to... Uh... Actually, no, I'm not going to log off right here. I've got to do a few things first. Let's head to Spawn's Portal. Let's go through. There's a few things I'm going to do before I uh, end off the series. I'm going to show you guys a few things on my world. So first things first, teleport to spawn. Now, new base, enable. Secret project, enable. Mine shafts three and four, enable. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick like 360 spin from spawn if you guys want to take a look at all those things I just showed you the coordinates of and now without further ado let's just first disable them all again I just gave away where all my waypoints are in case you guys wanna hop on here raid me destroy me do whatever you want to teleporting to my secret project guys this is what my secret project was I literally dug here now I have to enable spawn to show this I dug from the border that is here wait turn the map real quick south border I dug from the south border all the way to practically spawn since it's right here in hopes of trying to find people's bases especially mad world's base because i was unfortunately not able to ever find his base on here i this is the secret project i was literally digging this tunnel all the way here he got wind of this project a while back before i even started doing it and telling you guys about it somehow and he blocked off the entire thing he literally went i had about a thousand blocks dug out he came down here and blocked it all off this is not the same tunnel this is a different tunnel i started digging but the only reason why I started this up again is because I knew I was on the right track if he had to actually block it off and took the time and resources to do that. Because he blocked off with cobblestone, I mean cobblestone's whatever, but still the fact that he did that, that many blocks worth, is impressive. But we literally dug out 2,000 blocks, half of the world, with the minimap on like this off camera. Because I would see a lit up structure of a base, and you guys, if any of you have seen his video, feel free to check out his channel by the way if you want, but... If any of you have seen his videos on here, you've seen his base is ginormous. I'd obviously see it, unless it was too high up for the minimap to detect, but I'm pretty sure I was at the right level for this. Um, there's some gold right there. But yeah, that was what the secret project was, just so you guys know. But 
teleporting back to spawn with um, great sadness but joy. This is the conclusion of my Minecraft War Season 3. If you guys want to check out other people's perspectives on this channel, check out Mad World. His channel's name is Talking Game. Um, on my main channel, it has him. I have him a uh, suggester or whatever. So if you guys want to check him out, feel free to do so. He has done a Let's Play on this series. Uh, if you guys want to check out his perspective, see what he's been up to, what he's done, feel free to do so. Um, season four again. Leave all your comments and suggestions in this video. No other videos. I don't want to see in my or spawn video two days from now people saying you should do this for war. No, no, no. Anytime you have a suggestion at all, comment it in this video. Or if you really want to, comment in another war video. But this one, personally, comment in this one, in my opinion, because this is the one I'm going to be checking whenever I go to create the next world and stuff. So, again, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this series. I know I sure did, and the community did seem to enjoy it so much. So if you did, feel free to click that like button, show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and th are thinking about watching more things like this on my channel. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to check out the mod showcase I did earlier today on the Dungeon DQ mod. It was a very impressive mod. I personally enjoyed it, and I think that would be a really good mod to have on the War for Season 4. But again, guys, I'll leave it at that. I'll get back to you later on in the week on more details on this series, like the next season of this series, or college stuff or anything in general like that. And I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.